So the next topic here is area and volume. So there's a couple of formula that I have listed down here. Sometimes in your exam, it won't be given. So it is better if you have already memorized it up. Okay. So each slide, I will put it for five seconds. If you didn't purchase a slide, you can screenshot it down now. Moving on to the first example here, okay, find the capacity of this cone-shaped water tank. It has a radius of 15 cm and a slant height of 35. Okay, so you're required to find the height of this tank in order for you to sub it into your calculation. So by using Pythagoras theorem, okay, your h will actually be 31.62. And by substitute this value into your formula, your final calculation will get you 7450 cm cube, okay, which is the capacity of this tank. A metal sphere was then added into the full water tank and it has a radius of 10. Find out the liters of water that leaked out from the tank itself. The volume of the water tank is the value that we calculated earlier, which is 4743 over 2 pi. Okay, so now you're required to find the metal ball volume. Okay, so 4 over 3 pi times r cube. Okay, you will get 4000 over 3 pi. Okay, so by finding the difference, okay, you will get the liters of water remaining inside the tank. Okay, it will be 3.26 liters. The water that flow through a cylindrical pipe at a speed of 12 cm per second, the radius of the pipe is 1.5 cm. It is always completely full of water. Calculate the amount of water that flow through the pipe for 2 hours. So first thing you need to calculate the area of the circle over there, okay, which is 2.25 pi, okay, and for two hours you need to identify how many seconds is there, which is 7,200 seconds, okay. So just take the 2.25 pi times 7,200, then multiply it by 12 because for each second there will be 12 cm. Okay, then divide by 1000, then you will get the water that flow through will be 610.73 liters. So these are the common format that they assess you on this particular topic. Okay, so there's other example. After you digest all these examples that was being shared, you can now proceed with your past year paper calculation. So I hope that it helps you to strengthen the concept towards this topic.